America really does love this new Chevrolet Volt. Let's take a look. Whoa! The Chevrolet Vault made its debut in 2011, where it was named Car and Driver, Car of the Year, and Automobile Magazine Car of the Year. 2015 Generation 2 Vault came. This is an 18, but this is a Generation 2. Several differences. One, the engine is now 1.5 liter engine. You can now use regular fuel instead of premium, like you did in Generation 1. Sunroof is no longer an option. That's an 18. That's going to change in 19. Your instrumentation panel is much, uh, much simplified, easier to use on Generation 2. Back seat now seats three, used to seat two. We'll talk about that more in a minute. The way Chevy did that was by making the battery smaller in the generation two. So the smaller battery gave you more room in the back. So you have an 18.4 kilowatt hour battery, 18.4 kilowatt hour battery. One kilowatt hour is a thousand watts of energy for one hour. The battery will give you 53 miles. Now there are going to be several variables. The use of the the use of the Regen On Demand button, the temperature outside, the driving mode you're in, and a couple of other factors we'll talk about in a minute. The battery itself is charged right here. You're going to use a 110 plug outlet at your house. It'll take you about 12 hours. You can also have a professional install a 220, and it'll take you about four hours to charge your battery. In 2019, you're going to have a fast charge option. You'll see a little green lip here. You'll be able to go to Cracker Barrel, various other places across the country. You can look on your smartphone. It'll take you about an hour and a half to charge this battery. Simplified explanation of the way this works. Assuming the battery is fully charged and you're going to get 53 miles on a charge. Your battery is going to charge your electric drive unit, which is going to run your drive wheels. Then when the battery runs dead, your 1.5 liter engine will seamlessly turn on. It'll run your generator, which will run your electric drive unit, which will run your drive wheels. So you get 53 miles on a full charge, your 8.9 gallon gas tank, the t and the electric together gave you 420. Now the average person is getting a thousand miles between fill-ups. Twelve fill-ups a year. Liter engine and the battery itself, you're going to get 149 horsepower. It doesn't sound like very much, but it's 294 foot-pound of torque, and that's where it's really happening because the torque is available the very second you touch the touch the accelerator. So what that means is another vehicle that has 294 foot pound of torque may have to wait until it gets up to 3,000 RPM before the torque is available. This is available the second that you touch it. You also have a regen on demand button which is on the left and you could actually brake with your hand if you want to and it'll send kinetic energy under this fuse box, and that energy will be used to fuel. Got two trim levels. You've got a Premier and an LT. This is a Premier. You've got nine different colors. This is satin steel metallic. You've got five interiors. You've got three, three leather and two cloth. You have a comfort package, which is always gonna be on your Premier. That's gonna be heated folding, body color mirrors, and it's going to be heated leather seats. Optional LT, always on a Premier. You've got a heated leather wrapped steering wheel. It'll always be on a Premier, be optional LT. What you're looking at now is your side blind zone, which is part of driver confidence one. 
along with lane departure warning and rear park assist. That's going to be an option on a Premier. It's not going to be an option on an LT. Driver confidence package two is always going to be an option on a Premier. It will never be an option on an LT. Driver confidence two is your forward collision alert, lane keep assist, assist, low speed forward automatic braking, following distance indicator, and IntelliBeam headlights. Let's take a look at this back seat. I'm 5'10". I have enough room to sit in this in the middle. A taller individual wouldn't be able to, and you wouldn't be able to do it on a long trip. But what happened is generation one, the battery itself came all the way through the car, and so there was no back seat because it was part of the battery. Now the battery is going to stop here and spread out. So you don't have a lot of room in this in this middle seat. However, the front seat's all the way back. I still have a couple inches here, and I've still got two inches of headroom, so I've got excellent room in the back. On the interior, what we'll do is go over some of the differences between this vehicle, a Volt, and if you were in a Malibu or Impala or something like that, we're not going to go through all the buttons. Uh, the first thing I notice is the cluster is configurable. So there's classic, there's modern, classic enhanced, modern enhanced. So I can, change, I can change that when I want. Right here is my Regen On Demand button. When I pull it, I can actually brake with my left hand. And that'll send the energy, the kinetic energy to be stored and, and used later, which is really neat. One thing really interesting, this has heated seats, but their power seats aren't available, and that's to save energy. In 2019, that may or may not change. We are talking about the energy flow Right here, this is the, showing the battery is almost fully charged. This is showing my drive unit. This is showing my engine. So when you're driving this car, you can tell if the energy's coming from the battery, if the drive, if the drive wheels are being driven by the battery, by the engine, and also you'll see a little thing regen on demand. When you regen, you can see the energy going back, which is pretty neat. And then uh, right here, this is really interesting. You should park assist. This vehicle actually parked itself, and what you can do, you put it, say, 20 miles an hour, and, and it will find the spot, and then it'll find your parking spot, and you tell it if you want, if you want to do, um, you're going to tell it what kind of parking that you want to do. You want to pay, uh, par parallel or perpendicular. It'll find the spot. You just put it in reverse, and it'll park by itself, which is really cool. You just hold on to the brake. And uh, inside, one really big deal is your, your driving mode. Here's normal. That's the default mode. When you start this up, it's going to be in normal. That's all electric mode. And your second mode is sport mode. Sport is just what it says. It's a tighter steering. It's a different handling. It's not going to be as good a gas mileage. It's a higher performance. The mountain mode, let's say you're going somewhere and you know it's going to be mountainous. You leave it in mountain mode and the car will save energy from the battery to get up the hill. And your final mode is hold. Hold is all gas. One thing, even though you can change these modes, you don't have complete control over it because the car knows if that mode's gonna be appropriate. There might be some reason that it's not gonna go into that mode. And when, when the car's ready to go into that mode, it will do it. So don't be surprised about that. One real interesting thing, this has a maintenance program built in. So let's just use an example. It's been three months, and you haven't put fresh gas in because you've just been you haven't you've been commuting, you haven't used any gas. What it'll do, it'll st when you start the car, it'll run the gas on its own. It'll run the engine by itself. It's going to lubricate all the parts and protect the car. So you don't, it'll do that. One of the real important item is you're going to get a seven thousand five hundred dollar tax credit. I'm not an accountant. We're not trying to be an accountant. The way that tax credit works, theoretically, you make $100,000 a year. You owe $7,500 in taxes. Then you won't have to pay any of it. You'll get, uh, so if you had not paid your taxes yet, you won't have to pay the $7,500. I'm not an accountant. Check with your accountant. 
We're not talking about a tax deduction. A tax deduction would be where you made $100,000, you had 7,500 taxes you owed, you're in a 30% tax bracket. So 30% of 7,500, might, that might save you $2,500 on your taxes. So gonna do That's well not what we're saying. What I like to do is invite you out to Beatty Chevrolet. We have people coming from hundreds of miles away for a couple of really good reasons. Family owned company. We're loaded with positive reviews. We got a lifetime powertrain warranty that other dealers can't offer and don't offer. Please come out and see me. I'm Steve Andrade. I'm one of the other professionals.